So this is the GameGear prototype 0 0.2 that I got two weeks ago. You can see the Raspberry Pi Zero sold out here. And this is the new screen connector. This will be for the battery. For the controls, we will use the, the um, 8-bit DO0 controller. Uh, I unmount one to get the rubber dumps here for the demonstration. I will stick it like this. So what I'm going to show is how to set up the operating system on the GameGuard and how to run a game. So we host the operating system image on this server. Sources.laka.tv netly then there is a game girl folder and you have to take the image and, uh, the file ending by img.gz so I already downloaded it and I'm going to flash it on the SD card using a software called Etcher Etcher is just an equivalent to uh, DD. It will copy byte per byte the operating system on the SD card. But it has a, gra a graphical interface. So if you are using Windows or OS X, you can also use Etcher and follow the same procedure. So I select the image I just download here. This is my SD card drive and I flash it. It should take like 30 seconds. Okay, done. So now, if I take a look at the at what we have on the SD card, you will see a first partition here containing the Linux kernel. Here, the firmware is the file that contains all the emulators and the game engines and these two files configuration for the boot and the screen. Then there is a second partition, 34 megabytes. This one will be resized on the first boot and this is where you will store your games, your images, your movies, etc. <coughs> so now I'm going to plug the micro SD card into the Raspberry Pi Zero and use one of the two micro USB ports to power it. So this is the LACA logo and some messages about resizing the storage partition I were talking about. This only happens on the first boot. Now it's rebooting.
and this is the interface of LACA that we can navigate we don't have a case yet so I need to use my fingers to keep the terror burdens in place as you can see that we can navigate the menu so what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to shut down the system and copy a game So I play the SD card again in my laptop and this time you can see that the second partition is almost 8 gigabits and if I take a look at it you will see some folders one of them is called ROMs and this is where you put the games so I'm going to copy one or two games I will take Cave Story and maybe um, Mega Drive games. I copy this to the ROM folder and then I unmount the SD card. It should take a while because it's copying the data. Okay, done. So now that the game are on the SD card, I'm going to scan them. And now you see two new tabs. One is a case story. Let's start this game. You uh, see that everything is working as expected. I have a save somewhere. I can move around. Jump. And if I want to come back to the menu, I need to hit uh, start and select at the same time. Those two buttons here. So now I'm back in the menu and I'm going to try uh, another game, this time a Mega Drive game using the emulator. So let's say Wonder Boy 3, the monster layer. And when I want to shut down the system, I can just go back to the main menu and use the shutdown entry. Okay. 
Um, that's all for today. You can stop recording.